So today we're going to be looking at the bed platform assembly. So this would be the obviously the build plate basically and the frame that holds it and the parts that attach it to the Z axis. Obviously the Z axis is not made yet, but in order to assemble this to it, best to do this first. So as always, make sure you have all the items listed on the drawing, otherwise you're gonna have a bit of trouble as you go. Right. Let's start with this. So, I mean, as normal, you see where the nuts need to go and you put them in. <laughs> That's generally a good way to start. With these, I've put four holes in, but really you only need two, so I'm just gonna, gonna get two in. Okay, not too tight. You'll realize if you've not tightened lock, lock nuts before, essentially what you're doing is tightening through the nut first and then through the the nylon, nylon material at the back, which is much stiffer to screw through as it's a sort of self-tapping procedure. That's pretty much what you've got to do. There's two of those to do. Next we'll take a look at these. So this mounts to the side of the bed and holds, well, the Z-axis rods go through here, through the center. I've already put the bearings in mine and I can't get them out to show you how they go in, but you basically just put it down, put the bearing on the top and push really hard. Uh, I have got a gap here and some screws. It's possible you don't really need them. I've made this, I've made this nice, and, nice and thick, so you shouldn't really need the screws, but I'm gonna put them in I'll show you how it's done, and then if you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to, then you don't have to. Uh, there's four of those to do. So, oops, a daisy. You can do those. Now, you also notice on the top of these, well, yes, on the top of all of them, there's a little hole. That is for your Z end stop. So the end stop that's mounted onto this sort of shaft does that. So there should be a little screw, only one of that particular length. And I didn't count my bit of materials properly because I don't have it. Two moments, please. Right, so you just put a screw Onto the top there. Oops, it is. And screw it in. Doesn't have to be super straight, doesn't have to be super deep. All it has to do is stay at a certain given height. Now that you've put that in there, you'll want to keep track of this one because where your end stop goes obviously doesn't really affect performance, but it affects the sort of cable management. And it's nice to get these sort of in the right place. I tend to wind this about halfway in, maybe just over. That means you can sort of move it in and out. If you only just put it in and then you need to move it out. Yeah, you know, just be logical. Maybe that's not even the best way to do it. Who knows? Go ahead, put that in. They're now set. Now all that's left to do pretty much is the the bed frame itself. So let me just lay out how this looks. You should have four pieces, two that are 270 long and two that are 340 long, or whatever your bill of material says, depending on the version. Now, they form a, let's just move these out of the way. They form a sort of square, like so. And the plates go in, where can you see that? The plates go in like that. So you have one above and one below. That's so that when you're, when your bed's sitting here, that you can get to the side of it to put the clips on. If they're all, sorry, that's a bit loud. If they're all like that and your bed sits here, then it's quite difficult to get the edge clips on to hold the glass in place. So you can put them up like this if you want, but I'm pretty sure you'll find it annoying and difficult. Now you'll also notice that I've already pre-drilled holes in these. These are for the screws to go through for mounting the bed. 
it's quite important that you get them in the right place because the bed will not sit very square if you mess it up. I've got to try and remember how this goes. So you can see the dimensions that I've put on here, just roughly to mark where the hole is. They're not necessarily the correct dimensions that you'll need, depending on the version, obviously. But you can see how the hole, the small hole, the M3 clearance hole, is close to the long edge and furthest away from the short edge. So the long edge is obviously the 340, the short is the 270. So as with many other assemblies, we have two slot nuts for holding it together with M5 screws. There's two lengths of M5 screws in this assembly. The M10 length are for assembling the plastic parts to the frame and the M8 length, if I get that right. Yes, the M8 length is for assembling these plates and the frame. So you wanna get 16, there's no point me giving you quantities, you can read them for yourself. A bunch of these and a bunch of those. Now, for doing, the, for doing the assembly, I recommend the long edge having this one and this one, and then for the short edge, obviously these two. You can pre-assemble these, so you can just get the nuts in, get the screws on and the nuts in, whichever way around you want to say it. And that gives you a good head start. And then when they're all together, you can sort of slide them all, you know, together. 